Good morning, everyone. My name is Angela, and I have the privilege of bringing your devotion this morning. We are in the middle of our 21-day fast. It's day six. You've almost made it a week. You're doing amazing. You're doing great. Regardless of how you feel, what you think, you're awesome. I just wanted to tell you that first off this morning. So now I want to bring you a word that the Lord put on my heart this week during my devotion, and that word is invest. Now, I'm not gonna get into the intricacies of investing in companies and all of that, but let's take a simple savings account. If I put $20 into a savings account, it'll get some interest on it. You know, that's how savings accounts work, depending on what your bank is or what, it, it'll get some interest. So my $20 will be in there and then I'll get a little bit on top of it. But let's say a week after I put that $20 into the savings account, one week later, I go and I have a bill that's $100. And so I try to go in and get $100 out of my savings account to pay that bill. It's not gonna work because that's not how investing works. Whatever I invest in my savings account will be what I can get out of it. I can't pay a $100 bill if I've only put $20 in. So I wanna read a scripture in Luke chapter six, verse 38. This is the King James Version. It says, give and it shall be given unto you good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet, with it shall be measured to you again. Now, some of you are like, what does that mean? You know, that's a crazy translation. Well, let's go over to the Passion Translation and see what it says. It says, give generously, and generous gifts will be given back to you, shaken down to make room for more, Abundant gifts will pour out upon you with such an overflowing measure that it will run over the top. Your measurement of generosity becomes the measurement of your return. See, we use this scripture a lot when we're talking about giving money or our tithes and our offerings, but it's not just talking about money. It's talking about anything. If you're generous in anything, then that is what you will get back. What we invest in, it will be able to withdraw from. So if we're investing in our relationship with the Lord during this fast, we've, we've chosen to say, hey, I'm investing my time. I'm investing, uh, taking something out of what I would normally do. I'm making a conscious choice to invest in my relationship with God. And I'm spending time with him and I'm getting in his word and I'm praying. You're investing into your relationship with God and you're going to be able to make withdrawals on that. You're gonna be able to take out of it. If you're investing in your marriage, what does that look like? It means putting your spouse first. It means putting them before your own needs. It means saying, I'm willing to read books, spend my time. I'm willing to buy things that will invest into my marriage. I'm willing to put whatever, money, time, whatever, into my marriage. Then I'm gonna be able to make withdrawals on that investment. Maybe you need to invest in your friendships. Maybe you need to invest in your job. Maybe you need to invest in yourself. Whatever you invest in, you will be able to make a withdrawal on. But if we're not investing in things, then we can't go and make withdrawals when it's time for when something comes up and we need it. Just like with my bill that I needed money, but I hadn't put the money in to be able to, to pull it out. It's the same thing with this. You know, we go to church on Sunday mornings and we get invested in, and that is amazing. That kick starts our day. That's kind of like an interest on top but we've gotta be sure that we are investing throughout the week, we're investing throughout the month, we're investing throughout the year so that we can then make withdrawals on top of whatever it is that we're investing in. Let's be generous people with our time, our thoughts, our money, our relationships. Let's be generous and invest in things so that we can then withdraw and see them grow into amazing, amazing gifts from God. You guys have a wonderful day.